but others. The humane, the kind and hopeful, the mothers and fathers who are gaining an understanding and asking questions not only about these poor boys but about their own. They will join in no acclaim at the death of my clients. They would ask that the shedding of blood be stopped. I'm not pleading so much for these boys as I am for the infinite number of others to follow. It is of them I am thinking and for them I am begging of this court not to turn backward toward the barbarous and cruel past.
You know, I do a shitload of reading and studying and praying, and I've come to a few conclusions I want to share. People look at politicians and celebrities on the TV and the newspapers, glossy magazines. What do they see? I'm just like them. That's what they say. I'm special. I'm different. I could be any one of them. Well, guess what? You can't. You know why? Because in reality, mediocrity is where most people live. Mediocrity is the elephant in the room. It's ubiquitous. Mediocrity in your schools, it's in your dreams, it's in your family. Those of us who know this, those of us who understand the disease of the dull, we do something about it. We do more because we have to. The deck was always stacked against us. You're either a big leaguer or you're a slave clawing your way onto the sea train. Some people say Jack Abramoff moves too fast. Jack Abramoff cuts corners. Well, I say to them, if that's the difference between me and my family having a good life and walking and using the subway every day, then so be it. I will not allow my family to be slaves. I will not allow the world I touch to be vanilla. You say I'm selfish? Fuck you! I give back, I give back plenty. You say I, I got a big ego? Fuck you twice! I'm humbly grateful for the wonderful gifts that I've received here in America, the greatest country on this planet. I'm Jack Abramoff, and oh yeah, I work out every day.